Hi, President Davidson here with the Roadrunner Rundown. And in today's segment, we want to talk a little bit about the tumultuous events surrounding the tragic death of George Floyd. As many of you know, I've committed the university to engage in anti-racism work necessary to create change in our community. So as part of this work, we really want to start dialogue. And Dr. Katia Campbell, who is an associate professor for communications here at MSU Denver, she's also the president of the Faculty Senate. She's kicking off a dialogue right now on these issues, and we have her here today to talk about it. Hi, Katia. How are you doing? Hi. Good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thank you so much for taking the lead on this super, super important work. Let's talk a little bit about the series that you are kicking off. It is called How We Talk About Race summer series 2020. Our first topic, which is coming up really soon, and it's actually on June 24th, and it is a topic on how do we talk uh, talk to our children. And that is vital, and this goes across race. We hear a lot about black families and black parents having the talk with their, with their children. I've definitely had it with my children multiple times, but, um, we also need to understand that regardless of race, people need to talk to their children because that's the only way change will occur. It's not enough for just black families to be talking to their children. People who identify as white or other ethnicities also need to be talking to their children about race. We also have sessions about how to talk to family and friends, how to deal with social media, how to deal with these issues in the workplace. So talk to me a little bit about how you think communication and dialogue can be part of action? Okay, a few things, and that's a great question. Uh, why dialogue? For one, we have become incredibly polarized and tribalized in our country, where we exist in these alternate realities and we no longer have a shared sense of reality. And another piece of that is that so many of us in the United States have been taught from an early age that all opinions are equally valid and true. And that is absolutely not true. And actually, if you look at the First Amendment and First Amendment scholarship, you will see that the truth comes through the clash of arguments. So opinions need to be supported by argument and reason. And so dialogue attempts to try to mitigate those kinds of issues and tries to um, bring us together in, closer to a shared reality and give people opportunities to listen across areas of difference and um, and understand the realities that other people might, might experience that they might not experience, because that's where we are today. When you hear people say, oh, racism isn't an issue in our country, I've never seen it. They assume that no one experiences it. So that's a big problem. But I also want to say that dialogue is just one step. Education is just one step, but it's an important step. Communication is an important step. Our language is an important step. How we talk about things is vital. All right, so for those of you who are interested or curious or even angry or, or fearful, I would, I would recommend that you engage. And um, there's more information on our website for the series that's sparking this summer, but it will be continuing uh, throughout. So that's it for the Roadrunner Rundown. Thanks, Katia. See you Thanks. all next. Davidson.